Hello, good afternoon. I'm back with another episode of FM24 Dynamo to the Blissey and the Georgian national team. Where you left us off last, we basically um, played a few more European football games um, for Dynamo to the Blissey and um, we managed to get through to the Europa Conference uh, League stage and we won our first league game against Derry City. So this episode will be focusing a bit on the Georgia national team and then also carrying on with Dynamo's um, Euro uh, conference games, see how far we can get in the league. Um, we've already won the championship. We've got um, we're 30 points clear with about six or seven games to go. So we know that we are too good for the Georgia league. We have just got to get better at being uh, in Europe, basically. So that will continue. Um, so yeah, short and sweet intro today. I'm um, just letting you know got a nice new Nantes or Nantes, I don't know how you pronounce them, um, football shirt. I got this in a mystery box. A very nice shirt indeed. Very happy with this. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the first game of the episode. <laughs> so yeah, so like as I said before, um, we want our first... Europa Conference League game. There's only one game played in this competition so far. Um, so yeah, so we're third at the moment. If we just get rid of the league for a second. This is our European journey this season so far. So we managed to get through to the um, second qualifying round, but we lost on penalties to, to FCSB um, in Romania. And then in the Europa League, we drew 2-2 in both games to Derry City, but we lost on penalties. Um, so both European competitions, we got booted up by penalty shootout. Our goalkeeper is the worst penalty-saving goalkeeper I've ever seen. So we need to sort that out for next season. But um, in the Europa Conference League, we managed to get through to the group stage with a 2-0 aggregate win over KUPS, or Cups. Uh, and then in the first league game we played, we beat Derry City 4-2, so we managed to avenge our loss to them. Um, next game we've got in the Europa Conference is KI, or Key, however you pronounce it. Then we've got Basel, Sparta Prague, uh, Yverdon, and Trabz on Sport in Turkey. So, a few games we could win, a few games we'll lose, but we'll have fun. And we'll see how we get on after the league stage. Maybe we can get through to the next, to the knockout stages of that. We will see. Um, but yeah, and like I said, in the league, we don't need to worry about that now. We've won the league, um, 75 points. So I think we've got, um, where's, hang on, we go back, go back, go back, go back. Um, schedule, there you go. So if we just get rid of these now, and then we'll go this one. So I think we've got one, two, three, four, six. We've got six games left in the league, which we can just holiday through and also rotate and rest some players for the bigger games. Anyway, first game of this episode is for the Georgian national team. Um, we're playing Kosovo. And at the moment, we are currently second. Um, I'll just show you how we've been doing with the national team. This this year, this season, um, we would we beat Albania three one, drew nil nil with Greece, and lost uh two one to Portugal, and then we won four one against Poland, which was a shock result as far as I'm concerned. Drew two two with Turkey, lost one nil to Norway because of Haaland. um, and then so we we went we got through to the second round of the European Championships, just like in real life with the Georgian national team. We lost one nil to Norway, as I said, and then we drew two two with yeah, drew two two with Norway in the Euro European League Division C group. I assume this is what the Nations League is. I don't know. And then we beat Moldova two 0 We've got Kosovo next, then Moldova, and then we've got Norway and then Kosovo again. So we've got two games against Kosovo coming up, probably in this episode. We will see. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on now. Hopefully we start the episode with a with a win. We're in the white with the red stripe. 
good header, unfortunate not to score. Um, I heard a rumour that Liverpool are on the verge of signing the Georgia national goalie in real life, um, but he's going back to Valencia for the year. So I think what they're doing is they're lining him up to be the replacement for Allison. So I assume Allison will be going next after this season then, and that's why they've done it. Don't know, I could be completely wrong on that one. But that's what the, the latest big rumours are for any Liverpool fans out there. Man United are on the verge of signing Maz Roy. Um, oh, go on. Uh, Maz Roy, or Maz Roy, whatever you pronounce his name. The Moroccan player used to play for Ajax and, and from playing for Bayern Munich. Um, I think we're trying to get the Lick as part of that deal as well. Um, we've pulled our interest. Man United's pulled their interest in uh, Ugarty. We're going to go for other midfield targets because I think we're just we're not willing to play what PSG want, which is good to see. We're not caving in to the pressure and we're going for sensible players. So that's really good to see as a Man United fan. Um, and I'm quite impressed with some of the Man Young Man United players that we've got. They've, and I've been watching the pre-season friendlies like Harry Amas and Toby Collier. I feel like they can be good squad options this year if they don't go out on loan and stuff like that. So, yeah, quite happy with how Man United are doing. We were, um, we played we played really well against Liverpool in the friendly, but Liverpool more clinical. I would say that it was unfair. It was an unfair score of three 0 but you know Liverpool took their chances better than we did. Go on. Come on, talking about taking your chances. Um, but yeah, that's about it, that's about it as, my, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's quite upsetting when it comes to politics and stuff like that at the moment because the whole of the UK is literally turned into a civil war and it's really scary because I have a, um, she's not practicing but she's a British Hindu Indian woman, her mom. Um, was from India and she is a practicing Hindu woman and I'm absolutely terrified of my girlfriend or my future mom-in-law um, coming across these idiotic bugs. So it's made me very anxious like a lot of us but we've got to stand up against these idiots and we've got to try and sort this out before it escalates and gets worse and worse because it is getting really bad. Um, I wasn't too worried about it before because I live in Birmingham and Birmingham's a very multi multicultural, very diverse place. Um, but it, there was there was apparently there was going to be protests in Birmingham, not far from where I, the part of Birmingham I live in. But apparently they just spread false rumours to then hoax out um, the Asian community who all come out and they didn't exactly. Um, paint himself in a good light basically uh, there was a journalist on there and a couple of young Asian lads or, with Vala Carvers told her to turn off the camera so you know um, but yeah it's, like I said there's, there's a, it's unfortunate the situation we're in at the moment um, I, the, I, have, I have nothing against the Asian community protecting themselves from these idiots but I mean, they could have done a better way. They could have been a bit better with people who weren't actually a threat to them. Like, it was just a journalist. It, was, it wasn't going to hurt anybody. They just wanted to find out what was going on, maybe give them an avenue to talk about how they're feeling. But, yeah. But, like I said, I've, I've, most, most, most people from the Asian community I've got on very well with, had nothing but good experiences with, and that were nothing but good things to say about them. So I would say they're more well behaved than these idiotic. Uh, I call them gammon eaters. Um, you might call them something else, but these racist folks, EDL, Tom, Tommy Robinson scumbags. But yeah. Anyway, enough about the politics. Let's go back to this football manager. I just wanted to have a little rant about it because it is actually quite. It is actually quite um, stressing. But there you go. Two 0 We've uh, decimated Kosovo. Took us a while to get going, but we got there in the end. Goals from um, um, Gavil Taya and Chak Chak Vet Adis. Check. Let me get this right. Chak Vet Adis. I 
I've already figured out what I'm going to do for my first FM25 save. I'm going to start with a um, either a top team in Scotland other than Rangers and Celtic to try and win the Scottish Premiership and get rid of the dominance in there. Um, I might do it as a build a nation save where I'll take a team like Aberdeen, see if I can win the title and the European trophy with them, and then once I've done that, um, resign and take over another Scottish team, rinse and repeat, get the nation rankings up and everything else up, try and get more money coming into the Scottish Premiership through TV money and stuff like that, make it more competitive. Um, going to do it different than I did with the Rave Rover save. For Rave Rover save, I had a pile that basically gave like, people, like the teams, loads of money if they did well in certain competitions. And it was just, I think it just was unrealistic, really. So I want to try and do it from scratch. Get in, 3 now. Um, so that'll be my FM25 first save. Um, I don't know whether to do one or two. I haven't figured out yet um, for YouTube. Uh, I might do another youth only save in France with a different team. So I'll have like a Scottish team and then a Fran French team. Or I might just do something completely different. I don't know. I've still got plenty of time. It's ages away yet. I'm, I don't know why I'm talking about FM25. It's only August. Um, I think Football Manager usually comes out October, November time, doesn't it? So I've got a couple of months yet. Hopefully enough time to do something significant with Dynamo, Televisi and Georgia National Team, we'll see. But anyway, we won 3-0 and we'll come back in as, actually, do you know what, we won't, we'll just carry on. Um, it takes two seconds to whiz through two days. Um, sorry if I went off on a bit of a political rant. I was, like I said, I got really anxious about the safety of my girlfriend um, and I think I just wanted to vent. So yeah. I try not to talk about anything other than football and football manager or wrestling. I try and keep it light on this channel. There's enough depressing things going on at the moment as it is. Oh yeah, it's youth intake day. Um, we've had we've had a couple of decent prospects come through. I will show you in a minute once it if it comes through before or after this game. We'll see. Right here we go. So we've got this player here who's a top talent, um, Dimitri Georgadzi, fairly, fairly determined personality, 18 eccentricity, which I think is good for a goalkeeper, handling 14, reflex 14, determination 15, and 12 agility. Obviously, he's only 16, so he can improve over time. Good prospect for the Georgia national team as well. Um, these are not as good, so I probably won't really focus on these too much i just want to see if they've got any well he's got one ambitious so that's not good just want to see if anyone might have any good personalities very ambitious that's not too bad but a bit of him casual that's not good I don't like casual here my mouse is playing up now it's right clicking when it's meant to when i want it to left click um right oh balls press the wrong click oh it doesn't matter right We'll go unchanged, I think, or looks of it. Uh, another game that I feel like we should win against Moldova. They will be a tougher task than Kosovo, though. But I think we've got enough quality here to beat them. And then hopefully we can go on a bit of a good run here. Ready for the World Cup qualifiers coming up next year, I think. Yeah, score on. Good, good start. After literally 37 seconds, we've scored. Hopefully one of many. 1-0. Our left back, Azarovi, scored. And uh, I think by the looks of it, we might get another one here. Oh, maybe not. They're now on the break. He hasn't really got anybody there with him, so he's having to wait. Still got possession. We got rid of it though, luckily. Good tackle. Um, now we're on the counter attack here. Let's see if we're a bit quicker. Good pass. Beautiful. Go on, Park has he get in. Good finish by him. T 
Two nil to us. Corner from uh, Moldova. We've managed to head it out. Right. We've got another chance by the look of it coming up now. Nice bit of pass and exchanges. Good cross. What a header by Cavadonna. Unbelievable. I'm so glad that the assistant manager automatically picked him for the squad now. That was really annoying when they when the assistant manager wouldn't pick him. And I don't know why. How many goals has he got for Georgia? 13 goals and 32 appearances. He will probably get 100 caps for Georgia by the end of this save. Depending on how long I go. Because he should be on the, unless he's injured or suspended, he should be on the team sheet, the first name on the team sheet alongside the goalkeeper. Right, injury to Pozash uh, Vili. We've got, um, oh no, we've got another bloody injury. We've got a uh, Kilaviliatia, Kilavilia, no Kilavilitia. Kil oh God, here we go. I'm gonna get this one wrong every time. Kavil Ataya, Kavil Ataya. I probably pronounced that wrong. I apologise to the Georgian people who watch this. I am trying to get better pronouncing your player's name. Uh, one of the teams I'm thinking of doing a youth only save with is oh, good, good finish. Uh, VAR will check. Let's see what VAR does first before I carry on talking. It's going to stand. It does get in 4 0. Uh, one of the teams in France I'm thinking of doing a youth only save with is SC Toulon, um, quite a famous club in France. I did a save with them when I did the Youth Academy Challenge on the Cygame Forums Challenge section and I had a very successful save with them. I even managed to unearth the next Mbappe who was actually called Mbappe. His name was Ahmad Mbappe. I had him for like a year or two. Um, he was really good and then um, we sold him because basically he wanted to go and my board wouldn't, wouldn't let me keep him so I was good. So we had the, the new Mbappe for about a season or two, it was great. It was just a really fun save, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to do that again at some point. If I don't do it as a, as a YouTube save, I might, I'm probably going to do it as an offline save. Currently doing a save as Aberdeen in Scotland to try and Topple the big two. I did. I finished third in my first season. Won both the Scottish Cups. In the second season, um, I didn't win anything, but I finished second in league. So um, playing Champions League qualifying games. Um, in my third season, I haven't, I haven't. I haven't started the third season properly yet. I don't think. So that'll be interesting. And I think once I get bored of that save, I will do the youth only youth academy challenge on the side games forums because I haven't done it this year yet and I usually do it every season because I find that a lot less of a strain on me than the ultimate football manager challenge which if you don't know what that is it's basically you've got to win you've got to win 10 domestic cups you've got to win I think you'll win 10 domestic leagues um, including the top five leagues in Europe you've also got to win every single Champions League and they in the continent, so the African Champions League, etc., the the South American one, the European one, etc. And you've also got to win international competitions as well. So you've got to win the Euros, the World Cup, Copa America, the Afcon, um, the Gold Cup, for instance. It's a long save, and I've done it a couple of times, but I just I got I just get really put off doing it because it just takes forever. Um, but yeah. We'll see. I might do it. I might do the Ultimate Football Manager Challenge as a YouTube save. Um, so that might be one. I might do that as well as um, the, like I said, the Scottish one. Thinking of, or I might do another save I'm thinking of doing is 
Um, I haven't decided. I've got all these different ideas in my head, so you all have to bear with me. But I might do a build a nation save in Wales um, with Barry Town, and I did quite well with them as an offline save a couple of about a month ago. Managed to win the Welsh League and also the Europa Conference League as well with Barry Town. Uh, it did really well. Um, but the long term, I want to try and get the Welsh League up the, up the rankings and, you know, so I might do that, start with Barry Town, win the league, win, Europe, win a European Cup with them and then resign and then take over another club, etc. and do the, try and do the same thing. So that'll be two long-term saves for Football Manager 25, the little Armour Football Manager Challenge and the Build a Nation Challenge in Wales. And I think that will take me 12 months to do that pretty much. Well, the Armour Football manager challenge might take might not take me that long but i think the build a nation one will take me forever because it's it's a season after season and it? it's going to take ages but it'll be worth it in the end of the day in the long run right um we don't need to play this game i've been waffling on so i'll have a quick look so we, we we'll come back in a minute to the game against ki so see you in a sec right we're back and we've got the game versus ki um so this is the first game of the episode we're playing with Dynamo. Uh, thank you to the person, I can't remember his name now, so his username, so I apologise. Uh, thank you for letting me know about Fidete and the reason why it's uh, a C in one way and then a K in the other. So I appreciate you letting me know about that. It was nice to learn a bit about why that is how it is. Um, but so thank you. Right, we've already got an injury, but we'll leave it for now. We'll take it off. Right, corner to us, first highlight of the game. Get in. Apuji with his third, I'm sorry, fifth goal of the season. Great time to score as well. Got the lead in this game. To be honest, I feel like we're going to absolutely destroy him by looking at the stats. 13 shots, 4 on target, 1.74 FG. They've had 2 shots, 1 on target, 0.15. So that just tells you everything you need to know. Uh, you don't need to come off, though. Right, so he's off. Dog, Nancy, with the throw in. 1 2 with. I can't remember his name, Dog. There we go, 2 0. David scores. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce his surname. I feel like I won't be able to do it. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Uh, Skirhurt Ladsey. Skirhurt Ladsey. There you go. If I break it off bit by bit, I can get it done. If I try and do it all in one go, I've got no chance. I also got a, another beautiful shirt from a mystery football shirt box uh, from a company called Surprise Shirts. They do very good obscure um, football shirts. So I got the one I got was from a Welsh non-league team, and it's got like a bit of an astrological pattern on it. It looks really cool. Loads of different colours, purples and different shades of purple. It looks really cool. The only downside is they've got this stupid logo that looks like three apples in the middle of it, and it like, kind of hinders the shirt a bit but I still love the shirt and it feels really comfortable to wear as well so I'll be wearing that at some point I'll have, I'll have a lot of people very confused about what football shirt it is but I really like this Nantes shirt it's in, it's uh it's making me want to start a save with Nantes to be honest all right ooh. we're three nil off 10 minutes to go we can't make any more subs. Just gonna praise the team. See the game out. Oh, could help if I unpaused it. I'm currently second in the Europa conference if this game stays the same and all the other results stay the same. There it goes. 
They're going to get a consolation goal. No, goalkeeper sees it out. Don Nancy. Uh, Perfect Bassi. Akapuji. Akapuji, sorry, not Akapuji. Nice bit of passing going on here. We're going to get a fourth goal. Good ball. That was a beautiful pass. I don't think it's going to be allowed, though. I think he timed his run just wrong, but we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, that count. That's unfortunate. Io Bashvili hasn't really played much this year. He's kind of been ousted out by the other players. Even, um, I can't even remember his name now. Gordy, Gordy, even Gordy hasn't been playing that much this year now. Right, let's see when we're coming back for the next uh, game. So, yeah, so what I'll do is I will forward to the Basel game. I'll play the Basel game, then I'll call it a day for this episode. So, back in a second. All right, so here we are, last game of the episode. Um, we're playing Basel. In a probably a very tough game, Basel aren't an easy team to beat. Um, but we'll see how we are. Hopefully we can do well against them. Continue our successful run in the league stages of the Europa Conference. As long as we don't lose, I think we'll be on the right track getting through to the knockout stages. I think even if we lose, we should be all right. We've won the first two games, so can't complain too much. We look like the better team in this game so far. Uh, first highlight goes to us from a throw in. Oh, that was a bit sneaky. But I don't think that would have counted. I think he might have been offside. Good tackle by Diado. Actually, what about this? Have a look and see how. Uh, uh, Patty hasn't scored a goal for us yet. Quite concerned as he's our striker at the moment on this in this game, or is he? I know he's not. Oh my god! Yeah, he's a striker. Oh, doesn't matter. The main players aren't playing today for some reason, so we'll have a look after this game. Good pass by Santis to Nogueira. Lovely, lovely touch there by Oliveira. Fortunate not to score. We do have a corner there. And yeah, with the corner. Crosses it in, headed out. Dog Nancy gives it to Akwiji. Beautiful pass. Go on. Ah, oh, lucky Nagera. That may be a oh, okay, it was offside. He was offside anyway. Right. So it's still nil nil. We have been the better team, but Bayes will have it. Uh you know, there we go, we're giving them a penalty. Which is typical of us, and uh, goalkeeper is not very good at saving penalties, so it's probably going to go in if this is allowed. Yep, so 1 0 to Basel coming up. Yep, I mean, he went the right way, but I mean, he didn't really put his arm out, did he? I think he doesn't know how to save a penalty. Right, throwing to us, can we get uh, an instant re reply here? No, we lose the ball. I'll go back. Oh, I feel like we've been very unfortunate here. They've just had a lucky penalty there. I think we've been the better team. Still 1 0. We go down to 10. We don't win this game. That's not good. Right, corner to them. Good save. Head it out. That's it. There we go. Right. Let's make some substitutions. Oliveira's knackered and not playing very well. Uh, Fidetti's knackered. Maddy needs to come off. He's a terrible striker. Who have we got? Rachenko. Okay, go Pachenko. Prof, sorry, Prokopenko. Prokopenko. Again with the free kick. Floats it up. Oh, well, that's going to be an instant goal there. Right. Stop needs to come off. 
from Nazi Sumino, Kirk Adsi Sumino, Kirk Adsi. We got one more chance. Right, they've got a throw in, so I don't think I think this is it now. I don't think unless we get the counter attack. Oh, good save. Yeah, I think this is going to be a 1 0 win today as well. Looks of it. They might even get a second here from this corner. They're taking their sweet, sweet time with this. Good header out. They've still got it though. <coughs> ah, 2 0. Game over. A team too good for us to take on. Even though we've been quite good in the game, they've just um, took their chances better than us. But yeah, down to 10th now. So um, we, we need to win the next game to keep ourselves in the automatic places, whatever they call them. I don't actually know what it is, but we will figure that out. We've still got three league games, so we win one, one or two of them, we'll be all right. <clears throat> but yeah, so for this episode, I'm going to call it a day. Um, but yeah, thank you to the people watching, especially the people from Georgia. Always appreciated. Uh, thank you for leaving comments. Let me know um, about pronunciations of players. It, it is much appreciated because, like I said, I don't want to insult you by getting the names wrong. Um, but yeah, thank you as always. Uh, please like the video. I want to try and get the most likes for a video ever. So, everyone that's watched this video, please click like. It doesn't really do anything, it doesn't inconvenience you in any way. It just makes it better for me because then YouTube will push my video out. And I want to try and get as many people watching this video from Georgia, if possible. So, yeah, I want to become the most popular YouTuber, FM YouTuber, sorry, in Georgia. So I want the Georgian people to embrace me as one of their own. And we will tackle, tackle football manager together. But, yeah, anyway, right, on that note, I'm off. And I'll be back tomorrow with another, uh, another episode for the Georgia save. Yeah. <laughs>